In this episode of Trailblazing Women, we honor the San Diego County Women's Hall of Fame 2020 inductees. The contributions of these community leaders have changed San Diego County for the better. Over the past almost two decades, the Hall of Fame has recognized remarkable women from all walks of life. I knew that we are all world citizens, and I, really, I wanted to prove that by creating a center that was about all cultures, all people, and all races. My father told me I could do anything, but somehow I translated that into, I could do everything. And I've been trying to do that ever since. In 1983, Dr. Ride became the first American woman to orbit Earth. In her ongoing commitment to empower upper elementary and middle school girls to explore the world of science, Dr. Ride founded Sally Ride Science. This year, seven women are being inducted into the Hall of Fame, recognized for their empowerment, activism, trailblazing, cultural contributions, and historical preservation. The 2020 class includes Democratic Congresswoman Susan Davis, who represents California's 53rd district and has authored laws expanding patient and women's rights. Kathy Anderson, whose international counseling expertise led her to co-found and lead Survivors of Torture International, a nonprofit assisting survivors and educating the public. Dr. Iris Engstrand, a history professor at University of San Diego and former editor of the Journal of San Diego History. Dr. Nola butler Bird, scholar and activist at San Diego State University. Dr. Lupe Buell, longtime member and leader of MANA, a national Latina empowerment organization. Dr. Sue Ganda, a U.S. and women's history professor who holds leadership positions at Grossmont College and San Diego State University. She is also past president of the Women's Museum of California. And Olivia Puentes Reynolds, a Chicana civic leader and activist serving on boards including MANA, Girl Scouts, the San Diego County Commission on the Status of Women and Girls, and the Women's Museum of California. Sue and Olivia are the reason there's a Women's Hall of Fame in the first place. Congratulations, ladies, on your Twin Spirit Award, being inducted into the San Diego County Women's Hall of Fame. And not so coincidentally, you are both founders of this event that happened 20 years ago. Sue, tell us how that came to be. Well, it really started when the Women's History Reclamation Project invited the community to come and uh, have a visioning exercise about what, the, what this new museum could become. Uh, that is now the Women's Museum of California today. And, uh, and the Women's History Reclamation Project uh, had, had supporters from all over the county and Olivia and I were both there at the time I was board president. And, uh, and so I think that the idea of highlighting women in new ways came up at that meeting in 1999. And so the first induction was in 2002. And it took a lot of meetings and a lot of visioning to figure out how to start a Hall of Fame from scratch. I bet it did. And uh, Olivia, how have things evolved in the last 20 years? It was very heartening for me to see um, the Women's Hall of Fame be mentioned in so many places and how it has become uh, something very important to the women in the County of San Diego. Originally, we talked about we wanted to make sure that people that were honored came from uh, the various geographical areas, the different um, uh, let's see, uh, careers, and uh, that everybody was included, uh, could be, you would be included in that. There were success stories of women in all walks of life, literally. Just to build on what Olivia was saying, we created five different categories of the Hall of Fame, and it was important to all of us that it reflects the diversity of San Diego. And so some of the, so not just that we should uh, elect diverse women to be honored every year, but that there are categories that reflect the work of bridge building between communities. Women have always been community builders. 
I can connect anything going on today to something going on in the 1500s or the 1600s or, or below. I'm a historian and I'm a history nerd and that's what I love to do when I teach. So, but what I can say is that from whether we're talking about the American Indian communities before the Europeans arrived or when we're talking about those very first villages of the Europeans or we're talking about San Diego in the 1950s and the 1970s or 1990s or the present day, women are not behind the scenes making communities. They're up front doing and making and building the communities, but people don't know that. And so the whole point of the Hall of Fame is to say, here's what women were doing front and center, and you will never ever go to an event that has a crowd that is more diverse than the induction ceremony for the Women's Hall of Fame. It is the most awesome thing of people coming together who are from different backgrounds and different geographical areas of the county coming together to all say, yes, these women should all be honored. And I'm delighted to see that people are so proud to be part of the Women's Hall of Fame that their work has been recognized because how many times has women's work not been recognized in careers, in homes? And now we have that. Congratulations to all of this year's inductees. The online ceremony will be held on Sunday, June 28th at 2.30 p.m. You can access the free link to watch by going to the Women's Museum of California website at womensmuseumca.org. Thanks for tuning in to Trailblazing Women. We'll see you next time.